Hey everyone, Kibler here with another sweet new deck for you all to try. Today we're going to be playing some Quest Priest. And uh, you know, I played a decent amount of Quest Priest in the past. Now I specifically was looking at playing Quest Priest um, because I felt like an environment with uh, a lot of control warriors uh, and potentially, uh, you know, Kazakasan Druid decks uh, would be a, a deck where having a win the game card, as well as decent survival tools, uh, would would be a good place to uh, to start. Uh, one of the big problems that Quest Priest has um, is that it really needs to have uh, quality, proactive stuff to do at each drop. It's very difficult um, for Quest Priest to work if you're not actually able to play a two on two, a three on three, and a four on four. Um, unless you're playing like a very powerful set of control tools and you can really take it slow and, and just use the, the discoveries uh, to find you more answers. But that's not really the way the metagame works right now. Um, and one of the big problems for Quest Priest right now is that Pandaren Importer is nerfed because of the Brand Shadow Step combo. Um, because with Brand plus Shadow Step plus Pandaren Importer and having everything but Shadow Steps and like two other spells in your deck you're guaranteed to always get Shadow Steps, which is why they changed uh, Pandaren Importer to three cost, which is really bad um, for Quest Priest because that's one of the best things that you can play on turn two. Um, so it does it does really put a damper on how effective the deck can be, but I wanted to experiment with it anyway. Um, and I, I tried a couple different versions, including a Reno version. Um, the Reno version specifically because uh, I didn't think that there were uh, you know enough if there's enough incentive to to play like a, you know two O's for a bunch of stuff in order to really justify uh, not having the, at least the option for Reno against uh, stuff like uh, Demon Hunter. The pro big problem with Reno right now, though, is that Reno itself uh, is very good at, at dealing with getting bursted down. Right, Reno is a very good tool against decks that are looking to do some damage to you and then finish you off with burn type spells. It's not great, or rather, he is not great against uh, opponents who are. Uh, looking to build giant boards and overwhelm you with those boards. You need you need to be able to actually answer their board and then Reno and have them not just like recreate another giant board. It's one of the reasons it's really bad against stuff like Druid. It is still good against Demon Hunter, but uh, early in you know the the rotation with the the smallest card pool we're gonna have, as well as you know missing stuff like Pandaren Importer too. I feel like it's not quite worth it right now. Uh, really, in any build I've found. Uh, including this one, but it's a fun deck uh, to give a shot, so uh, I hope you enjoy this take on Quest Priest. Okay, Paladin. Oh, was that you? Your game bugged? Awkward. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Reno is that it's good against decks that are, like, basically, like, you know, looking to basically more or less like burst you down. Against Dra I'm gonna take Shattered Ruin against Dragon Paladin. Or Dragon Paladin. Mecha Paladin. So Crush Cloth finds um, School Teacher, which is a four we can just play proactively. It's made do counter controller Paladin. Basically, yes. The reason I decided to play this was the popularity of Control Warrior made playing, you know, a deck that can just win the game. Feel pretty appealing. Marina was getting his quest hunter, yes. Although, like, they can do an outrageous amount of damage to you. So it's not necessarily like reliable as a as a counter to quest hunter. Because you can't, you know, you can't like get that low. So we will put the school teacher. Shard of the Naru seems very good against the Vindicator and various buffs. I think Condemn. Obviously, he's having a little bit more removal options. So this could silence all their guys, condemn them, and then kill the rune in hand. Like I can silence, condemn, a, like heal attack, 
And I wipe their board. And then I still have the ruin. I'm gonna do that. Savior? Seafloor Savior, okay. And then I try on shore. Um I'm just gonna do this. He was complaining about neck soreness, so. Here, Tom. Here's my shoulder getting zapped. I wasn't paying attention. What happened? Oh, a mothership. Okay. All right, let's play this Talon. So when that dies, it'll get me my Murazond. We will take a light bomb. This deck is bad for climbing ranks. Are, are you a prophet? I literally just built this deck. And as you can see on the screen, it has a 100% win rate. Oh boy. Hmm. Light Bomb doesn't really do that. Light Bomb kills this, kills this, kills this. Leaves them with 8 power, which isn't bad. Zarella is a Plated Beetle. A Light Shower probably is worth Light Bombing here. Eh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hmm. So they have what? Eight, nine, uh, eighteen on board. Um, the Murazond is these three. She doesn't really do that much. It is also this though. Maybe we just Murazond here. Hmm, Zarel doesn't do very much right now. I'm gonna run on. Oh, there's this guy too. Okay. So we will have condemned three next turn. They have the um, buffed Mooncatcher be what six yeah i mean they need to trade to be able to develop much of anything so hmm okay so uh condemn wipes out everything but these we kill this guy, what do I have left to thrive for? I can thrive for Light Bomb, Elec Mount, and Call to the Grave. Let's play these. Okay. Murazon's been medium. I mean, th there it was really good. It, Murazon is really powerful against stuff like Druid. Especially if you can, you can like, you know, not just die. <laughs> Druid and Warrior, really just doing big stuff frequently. It also works with um, Colossals, because their thing isn't battle cries. You actually get all the points, all the parts. Oh boy.
I could not have attacked before too with Fort Condemned because there was a taunt in the way. So we know that they have the buff moon catcher. We still have Shadowed Ruin. Mm -hmm. Shadow Step is a problem. Shadow Step's the reason I can't play Importer. Because Importer got nerfed because of the Shadow Step brand combo thing. Mm -hmm. So basically the uh, the combo was Importer meant that you only had, uh, if you played Importer and every spell but like three in Rogue, you could always get Shadow Step, which meant brand and Porter meant you generated Shadow Steps every time, and then you used it with the, the two damage guy, so you could just generate Shadow Steps and infinitely damage your opponent on like turn four or whatever. kills these. Eh, insurance policy. I feel like they're dead. Mm -hmm. uh, the only deck that I've seen use Boar successfully has basically been Priest. I think I can. He's titled. Oh, cool. Give him a streaming. He's titled Praise the Gods. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. There's a carry out. Sure. These are both going to be real good. So we need our Elec Mount or Mutinous for our quest. Our Zarela does a lot right now. Oh, hello. We'll hold that. Look at the shoulder contractions from the, the stem thing. It's really interesting. Uh huh. Yeah, this is going to be better than the Elec Mount right now. Pomp! Hello. Look at that. Boom. Wait. Are you zapping yourself? I am zapping myself. This is my third zapping. Third round. Yeah. How was your brunch? Delightful. Good. Say go. Pretty sure watching a streamer electric shock themselves against Twitch TOS. Yeah. 
Those are so scary. 30 po- Oh, we're dead. Kaboom! Quest complete. Alright, another priest. We will keep quest and sorceress. We have double sorcerers and crush claw, okay. Whoa! Quest Priest Mirror? What are the odds? Huh. Oh my goodness, I'm done showing my quest. Is this, is this just the, the mirror match? Like, I haven't seen anyone else be playing Plated Beetle. That's very funny. Alright, we're gonna coin a Crush Claw Enforcer. Which draws our other school teacher before we do, and this is dead. Switcher. Okay, I don't have that in my deck. I had that in an early version and didn't like it. I will play Entrap Sorceress. Currently, I don't have a two. None of these are a two. I'm gonna take a focused well. Mm -hmm. They're unfortunately ahead on this. I don't have. <clears throat> Eh, sure, I guess. Maybe this. It's just another one of these. I kind of... No, I'm gonna take this. I still don't have a two. Yeah, I'm just doing this. Mm-hmm. Aha! There's a two. Okay. We'll play this two. I'll take a call a grave. I really don't have a six. Uh, patron of Chaos with the 41 months. Welcome back. The Scorpion's 1-2 because of Switcheroo. It's off to something. There's my five. That's real good. Yeah, Naga School Teacher is also one of my favorite cards from the expansion. Mm hmm. Rude. Oh, there's my six. these particularly matter, so we'll just take this. I'm gonna play this because otherwise I have too many cards in hand. I'll take a cheap light bomb. Why would you play Zarella instead of the Clock of Life Seal? Um, Zarella can just win you games by itself. I consider playing the Behemoth as a third eight, but I feel like Murazon and Zarella can both be individually game winning. So they are still in phase two. Okay. And I can play that, because they need the five. Condemn. Pick me, pick me. Okay. Just gonna overdraw them. Still gonna overdraw them. Unless they play something else. Okay, they're double death referring. Wow, okay. I will not overdraw them. It's I actually don't have an 8 in my hand. I need my Marizond or my Zorilla. It's complete. I also want to find my. 
thrive so I can immediately find my, my win condition. The issue is um, if you if you do not protect your Zarella, because it's impossible to play at the same turn. Okay. They get a wait, they get light shower and spirit guide. Oh they huh? sure. Oh and a beetle, yeah. Okay. Oh there's my Zarella. Alright. Um so this is gonna be Beetle uh Beetle plus Disciple plus Big Fella. And it'll put It'll put uh, the quest reward in our hand. So our hand is full. We're not going to play anything to avoid overdraw here because we don't care. And we don't want to cycle the Rust Drop Viper now and have fewer minions in case they play a Mutinous on us. The only thing we might play is like Focus Will here, but there's no card in our deck that we care about outside of Thrive. With this dynamic. Mm-hmm. And there's a good focus will target. So let's trade this. If we find Thrive. Alright, I could mutinous here. I don't think it's worth mutinousing. I think we'd rather just play our own Zarella because it's a really low chance that we actually hit exactly that. So I'm gonna focus well, Zarella, shoot you, hit you. So they're at 12. Mm hmm. Do they have their Thrive? Gift of the Naru, okay. Ah, there's their Thrive, yep. Yeah, I'm dead, unless I draw it. Hmm, rip. There's nothing that can disrupt the spell, right? That sucks. Well, I'm dead. They got it faster. Aha! That's my own guy. Thrive up! Oh, and I thrive for a thrive, which can thrive. And I didn't even hit it! Wow. Unlucky. Alright, I'm dead. Yep. Eh. We got. Quested. R.I.P. They quested us before we quested them.